Hi everyone. So uh, I would like to present uh, my study, uh, the measuring the impacts of the COVID-19 uh, lockdown and the uh, aid package in Vietnam. So this is the outline of the, my presentation. So uh, first I present the objective and the data and the country context and uh, the method, mainly the regression method and the empirical result and finally the conclusion and policy implication. Uh, the objective of this study is a very uh, straightforward. Uh, we know about the adverse impacts of the COVID-19 on the health and also the economic outcomes. And to uh, cope with this crisis, the government they have the policy on the lockdown and also provide the aid package, provide the cash transfer and support to the to the household, to the people. So in this study, uh, I look at the impact of the lockdown time and also the aid package on the number of the outcomes in Vietnam. So I try to measure not only the economic outcomes, but also the opinion of the people to see where the people, they are satisfaction with the government policy in response to the pandemic. So the objective is a very straightforward. Uh, the contribution either I try to provide the, um, the findings for Vietnam uh, and also focus on the impacts of the lockdown and also the impact of the support to the household uh, opinion about the government's uh, response to the pandemic. Is that the that main contribution? Uh, in order to answer this question, uh, I use the data from uh, the, the three rounds survey data in the three years. So in Vietnam, since uh, 2009, the UNDP, United Nations Development Programs, and the Vietnam Fatherland Front, they conduct the, they call the opinion survey. They collect information from the 14,000 citizens throughout the country, and they collect their experiences and their opinion about the governance and the public administration. So in this study, we use a survey in the 2019 as a sampling frame. And uh, um, I use a survey that conducted by the Mekong Development Research Institute and the United uh, UNDP. And they uh, conduct the survey in the 2020 and 2021. They use a 2019 uh, survey as a sample frame and they randomly select the respondent from that survey and to survey in the 2020 and 2021. Uh, they conducted the phone survey in the September and October in the two years, 20 and 21. And the final observation in this study is 4,524 and consisting the 1,688 in the 2019 and around 1,400 1, 1, uh, citizens in the following years, 2020 and 2021. And in the survey, um, um, they contain the data on the respondent employments and their income and their knowledge about the COVID-19 and also their opinion and assessment of the government's responses. And whether they received the cash transfer, the support from the government. Um, so this is the, some overview of the Vietnam. Uh, Vietnam in the 2021 is uh, quite successful in containing the COVID. So at that time, the COVID was quite uh, spread in other countries, but in Vietnam it's uh, very low and the mortality rate in that time is uh, very, very small. However, in the 2021, the COVID was spread throughout the country, and at that time, there know the vaccine, so uh, a lot of the people, they affected, and more than 40,000 
people death because of COVID in that time. And in order to, co to, 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 to control the COVID in the 2021, the government, they have to implement that very, it's a longer lockdown time. So the time uh, of the lockdowns, mainly from the June to October, and especially in the provinces with higher number of COVID cases. So this map shows the so the the, the um, geographic uh, uh, variation in the number of COVID uh, and in the number of months of the lockdown and the proportion of the people that received the cash transfer from the government. Uh, you can see that in the north of Vietnam, the number of COVID is uh, smaller than in the south, and also uh, the number of lockdown time is also uh, lower because they, they don't have the many COVID cases, so the government they impose uh, the shorter time of lockdown. However, in terms of the receiving the aid package, so it's a quite equal over time. Uh, across provinces, the people in the north, they also receive similarly in terms of the, uh, the, the, the cash transfer, like the people in the south. Um, so the government, they provide the, um, nearly 3 billion US dollar in the 2020 uh, to support the household and the enterprises. And in the 2021, they also provide the aid package, but the smaller amount uh, to the people and to the firms. So this is summaries of the beneficiary from the, the, the aid package. So basically they provide the cash transfer to the people, to the workers who lost their job. And that in the, in the formal sector. Normally the people in the formal sector, when they lost a job, they, 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 they can report. Uh, for the people in the um, more informal sector or the uh, house of business, if they report that the, 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 the revenue and the business uh, has been closed, and then they can also allow for the cash transfer. And finally, another group is the social policy and uh, the poor household. They also receive uh, some kind of cash transfer. Those cash transfer, it uh, equal about, uh, it's uh, not very much. It, um, uh, the people they can receive maximum three months. So uh, for example, here, the monthly, monthly allowance is the highest for the people they lost their job and the smaller for the poor people. For the poor people, uh, they can receive the cash transfer even they didn't lose their job. So that's why they receive the smaller amount of money. Uh, this is a present the proportion of the citizen they received their cash transfer in Vietnam. So we can see that uh, in the 2020, it's 21% of the people that received the cash transfer and this rate decreased to the 13% in the 2021. Even in the 2021, the, the, the effect of COVID is higher. But at that time, the people, the, the government, they, they, they have the smaller resources. So that's why in the 2021, uh, the proportion of the people that receive the cash transfer is uh, smaller. Um, and one, uh, uh, one, 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 one thing you can see from the Z uh, graph is that uh, in the 2021, uh, because uh, at that time uh, the effect is uh, quite small. So uh, most of the groups, they receive the similar uh, cash transfer and the poor, they receive the highest because that time the government, they target to the poor and to the policy household. So that's why who are poor, who are ethnic minorities, they are more likely to receive the cash transfer. But in the following year, in the 2021, the people in the south of Vietnam, they affect heavily. So last time, the people uh, living in the south and the Mekong River Delta, they are more likely to receive the cash transfer than other reasons. So now to the methodology. So the main research question is the, whether the longer term of the lockdown and whether household house and the people they receive the cash transfer, so uh, whether that can affect their economic outcomes, employment, and affect their opinion about the government. 
So we run the regression uh, like that. So we have the y is a dependent variable, measure different uh, outcomes of the individuals. And we had the dummy uh, to measure whether that's uh, people that receive the, uh, the, the, the cash transfer or not. And we have the lockdown, that's the number of months uh, that the provinces uh, implemented the lockdown. So in Vietnam, we have the 63 provinces. So the variation in the lockdown time is uh, very at the provincial level. And we control for characteristic of the individual. We control for the province uh, dummy and the year dummy. So this is uh, the main reason from the regression. So we look at the effect of the lockdown and the age package on the uh, economic outcomes. So we see that the, if the people they receive their cash transfer, they are more than reported income in that year is about the 8% higher than the people who did not receive in the first column. And uh, we see the strong impact of the lockdown and the income. So one additional month of lockdown increase so they can reduce the per capita income by the 8%. So the second, uh, you can see the second row is column one. And for the effect on the employment, the impact on the employment is uh, smaller. We do, we do not see the impact of the cash transfer on the employment, but we see some impact of the lockdown time on the employment. Uh, specifically, you can see that for the people who are living in the provinces with a longer time of lockdown, they are more likely to lose their job, mainly unskilled job, that's uh, in the labor market, and they have to move to the self-employee, non-farm work. That's the main, uh, main finding. And next, I look at the effect on the uh, opinion of the people about their government. So we measure the, um, the, uh, the assessment of the people uh, and ask them to, uh, to, to, to rank the performance of the local people and the performance of the provincial government and the central governments. And they can rank from the one that is a very bad performance to two bad, to three is a normal, four good, and five very good performance uh, performance in response to the pandemic. Uh, here we can see that uh, receiving the aid package, they have the positive impact on the opinion of the provincial governments. The column four, in the column four, I, I simply measure the dummy variable, whether that respondent they, 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 they report the good and very good performance of the governments. So we see that receiving uh, the, the, the aid package, they can increase the, uh, the, the, the assessment, the positive opinion of the respondent to the provincial government and to the commune uh, governments. There's no effect on the central government. And the lockdown, they have the negative um, correlation, negative impact. So longer time as lockdown, so people they have the um, uh, they more likely to to lower the rank of performance of the provincial level. Uh, in the um, paper, I conduct the several estimates and um, several robustness check, and basically the estimates are robust to different sample, different uh, variable, and different control variable. And we also try to look at, um, to explain the impact of the cash transfer on the citizen um, assessment of government. And uh, we try several ways, and our findings simply suggest that. So receiving the cash transfer or the aid package, so simply increase their citizen trust in the government. So that is uh, the main, main idea. Um, Finally, we uh, conduct several um, heterogeneous effect to, to see where the effect of the aid package and um, uh, on the, on the opinion about the government, they uh, different uh, across different groups of people. So here we see that uh, the effect is uh, 
lower for the male and lower for the young people. So we can see that interaction in the column one and column two, three, that are the negative, meaning that the effect is uh, smaller for the male respondent and smaller for the young people. So uh, that is uh, the, 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 the main finding. Finally, it's a conclusion. So um, uh, in terms of the um, uh, coverage, we see that the eight package, they, uh, uh, coverage, they, 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 they cover quite well the vulnerable groups like uh, poor people, ethnic minority, so they can reach these people very well. Uh, the main finding that the lockdown has a negative effect on the economic outcomes, including the income and also they reduce the, um, the employment for the unskilled worker in the formal sector and they move them to the self-employee non-farm work. That's the main, main finding. Uh, receiving the aid package, they do not have effect on the employment, uh, but they have the effect on the per, cap per capita income. So people, they receive the, 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 the aid package, they more likely to increase the higher income. However, we see that the, the, the positive effect of the aid package, they cannot um, compensate for the negative of the lockdown. So uh, that's why in the total, the, the people, all the people, they, they uh, affected seriously. Um, one point is that the lockdown, they can improve the, sorry, the, the, the lockdown, they decrease the citizen positive opinion about the government, while the cash transfer, they can improve the opinion uh, of the citizen about the government. So uh, it also suggests that uh, during the crisis and pandemic, so the most important for the government is they can produce, they can provide the timely uh, support and especially cash transfers for the people vulnerable. So that that can help to increase the trust in uh, in in the government performance. So that is the main presentation. So thank you. <laughs>